Shalom, beloved. Hey, guys. Um, hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving if you celebrated it. Uh, I know there's viewers from around the world. Um, in Canada, I know your Thanksgiving was a while back, so happy Thanksgiving, belated Thanksgiving. Um, uh, yes, I had a very blessed one indeed. Uh, it was it was truly a, a beautiful, beautiful Thanksgiving. Um, I had, uh, yeah, <laughs> my landlords are amazing because they hosted this beautiful Thanksgiving meal. And then my neighbors, who also helped me with um, cleaning up the trees on my land, uh, they actually blessed me with a turkey, a, a whole turkey to cook, which is just a huge blessing. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not going to go hungry for probably until spring because I got a, a turkey for myself and um, it's a huge blessing. <laughs> I'm gonna like, you know, stick, keep it turkey in the freezer um, and uh, it's gonna be great. I can just like take out the turkey as the days go on from the freezer. So we make turkey soup and turkey sandwiches, all that good stuff. Just turkey, tacos. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever done that before. You can make them like, uh, uh, yeah, I can like kind of prepare it the way you would for chicken tacos or fajitas, stuff like that. Um, anyways, if you guys, uh, I have a few things to say. And if you, uh, oh, the sun, <laughs> I love the sun, but it's getting in my eyes. If you hold off until the end, I have a special surprise to share at the end. Um, thank you again to those of you who have supported me and blessed me with letters and things. And I have written back to some of you. I still have more to write to, uh, but the mailman is not coming to my place anymore because I guess the um, flag on the mailbox got came off somehow. So he <laughs> doesn't see the that there's mail in there. There's no flag to, to say that there's mail in there. Um, so I don't know. It might not come until they come to pick up or give me my next bills for the month. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I guess I might have to take the letters to the post office. Um, so yes, and uh, you may have noticed that as of today, actually, um, the name on my channel has changed from Princess Yehudia to the Light and Yiska. And I'm very excited about that. Also, the profile picture has changed. Um, I, I mean, I'm very happy with the name Princess Yehudia for all these years, too. Um, but I, there's a few things I... Um, I've, I've always wanted the channel to glorify our king from the very beginning. It's been my heart's desire. And it was important to me that in the title I actually put that understanding that I have in it. And princess being the spiritual understanding that I am a daughter of the Most High King, so his princess, and then Yehudia being um, part of just my identity. Yehudia is the Hebrew word for like a, a Jewish lady. Um, and or for a man, it's Yehudi, you know, Yehudi, but for a lady, it's Yehudia. So I just had that kind of combined on there. And the picture it was a picture of me from with my first uh, little harp. Not my first harp, but my first little one. Um, that might be kind of confusing, but it wasn't the very first harp I ever got. It's just my first little one. And a lion painting that I did. And interestingly enough, that little harp is actually in Israel. I left it there, which some of you know about that and the story behind that. And then that painting of the lion, I have actually, over the years, I have worked on that painting. It has gone through changes. You wouldn't recognize it. It's not the same painting anymore. And in the same way, I myself have changed for the better. You know, I've gone through so many things and my walk with God has gotten so much better. Fears that I used to have, I don't have anymore. Certain fears, you know, that come to mind. Um, so many things I've gone through a lot and like, you know, all of us have, but I'm not the same person I was in, in, a, in a good way. Um, not that I'm not proud of who I was then either. Um, I know that, you know, I loved God so much at that time too when I started the channel, but it's just so much deeper now. And so I really wanted a title that um, put God in it like himself and he is the light of the world and myself together and put him first, the light and Yiska. Whereas before the other title was I mean, I did have him in my heart in the title, Princess being his daughter, all that, but I just wanted him in the title, <laughs> like somehow, 
just him and and then I together. So that's why, you know, to signi to signify that deepness, that um, that journey, that relationship. Um, maybe I'm too close to the camera. Sorry, <laughs> if that's the case. I wanted that to be significant in the title. So it's the light and Iska, and then the picture, the profile picture, is actually one of the pictures that's going to be on my um, upcoming album. If you remember, I had nine more songs, and they're finally going to be coming out. Um, the album is called Thank You for the Rain, like the spiritual rain. There's a song in the album called Thank You for the Rain. And in that picture, you'll notice I'm soaked. <laughs> um, my hair's all wet and everything. And, uh, yeah, and the song on the album called Thank You for the Rain, it's the only one on the album that has all three languages on it. Like, I have different songs on the album in, lang in their language, like whether it be Hebrew, Spanish, or English, but this particular song has Hebrew, English, and Spanish on it. The Hebrew, though, is just the chorus of, in Hebrew. Um, but yeah, just really kind of emphasizing on that the whole understanding of our spirit spiritual reign from the king. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys, that little update. Um, hopefully we will have another uh, Bible discussion uh, live stream soon. I know uh, one of you emphasized how much you enjoyed the Friday night uh, Bible study thing, and, and I do too, I really enjoy it. The only trouble is that I can't do it every Friday because Sometimes I'm actually um, at another or participating with another study. So, you know, maybe twice a month or once a month. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. Uh, maybe even this Friday. I don't know. I can't make promises right now, but um, but we will see. I do know that Saturday, yeah, Saturday I'm singing and playing the harp somewhere. Um, so I couldn't do that, but... Uh, Obviously, right now it's Friday, actually, um, and I'm posting this now, um, so I guess uh, I don't, yeah, I won't probably have Bible study tonight, um, but maybe next Friday, we'll see. Something else I wanted to share with you guys, um, a little project that I'm doing. I, I've sold some chickens, I even sold my turkey, which I really love my turkey. Um, but she wasn't getting along with some of my birds. It was pretty bad, actually. And I thought, well, because I miss my turkey, I really enjoy having turkeys. I thought perhaps I could get some turkey hatching eggs, start them out with when they're little, um, maybe try to incorporate them into the coop at a pretty young age, or, you know, have a separate spot for them by then, have, have it ready. And, uh... Yeah, but I didn't have an incubator, so I just, I ordered a, the cheapest, smallest incubator I could find. So I don't know if it's even going to work, but it'll be a project and uh, it'll be fun to tell you guys about it. And I do like to share these sort of things with you guys because our king, Yeshua, also shared parables in regards to like farming livestock um, with the people and that we read of. And it's, it's important, you know, these things in nature, this is the school, this is the real school. Uh, to really teach us because what is around us, it's a reflection of, you know, our relationship with our king. He is in everything around us as far as the nature and um, the trees, the plants, the animals. And so having any part that we can in the process and the experience of nature is, is truly a benefit for our spirit. So I really like to share those things with you guys when I can. Um, and I wanted to share with you uh, a turkey egg because I've got a few of them. Um, and I'm gonna stick some other eggs in there too because the these turkey eggs I just have a few and in case maybe only one makes it I want to have some other kind of bird with it so it won't be alone um, so I'm gonna show you though this is kind of neat to see this is a turkey egg it's pretty big um, if you haven't seen it one before it's got speckles on it um, well, it's got some dirt on it too, but it's got some really pretty speckles. And, uh, yeah, so it's a turkey egg. And I was going to show you a duck egg alongside it, but I actually ate the duck egg that my ducks laid this morning. So, sorry about that, but 
Um, but this is one of my Rhode Island Reds, her, her egg. You know, you, this is like what you're used to seeing at the store mostly. Nice, beautiful brown egg. So, kind of gives you an idea of how big the... Doesn't, it's not really that much bigger, seems like, but... But this turkey, this is actually um from the same uh, family people that I got my turkey from. I got the hatching eggs. Um, and it's the same breed. The royal palms are actually a smaller turkey. They don't really get that big. So that's, you know, I don't know. The bigger turkeys, maybe they have bigger eggs. But, but for the royal palms, they're really not that much bigger. It's pretty much the same size, I think, of a duck egg. The duck eggs I have are pretty big, but a different shape. Kind of a more pointed shape. And then, just to give you an idea too, for my silkies that you've seen in some of my videos, um, they're a very tiny chicken. A very tiny breed of chicken, really. They're not regular sized. And they lay very small eggs. So this is their eggs. Very tiny compared to a... Um, I should put this closer. To a regular sized chicken egg. Um, very cute little eggs. Um, and they actually when they hatch the little babies are even it's hard to imagine but they're even cuter than <laughs> than the regular size chicken eggs I chicks I think they're all cute but but they're extra tiny um, the little silkies I do eat the eggs though too um, of the silkies they are they're very tasty you know home homegrown fresh eggs are always tasty um, so even though they're small very good eggs um, but yeah so that's kind of I'm planning to stick a few of these inside the incubator, actually. Uh, in case, like I said, I only have a few turkey eggs. In case only one of the turkey eggs hatches or something, I don't want it to be alone. So I wanted to have a buddy. So I'm going to stick some of the silky eggs in there. And uh, I don't know. You guys think I should stick a duck egg in there, too? <laughs> I don't know. That could be kind of interesting. A turkey, a chicken, and a duck. If, if they all made it. <laughs> That'd be kind of fun, I guess. Um, so yes, so now the special the sun is getting nice. Now the um, the special treat at the end. I had some visitors, um, some visitors that were some neighbor visitors that came to visit me, and I recorded them. Now you're really curious, so stay tuned and watch what's coming. Bye bye. I love you guys. Shalom, shalom. Well, I knew I was saving that branch for some reason, if not artistic purposes, for the purposes of feeding a goat. Wow. The way you devour that thing. <laughs> <laughs> 